brought to you by Boyd Grain in Washington. Boyd Grain, proud supporters of the Hatchets for the visitors from Boonville. Starting at guard, a 5'11", junior number three, Dominique Sharp. Also at guard, a 6'2", junior number 22, Cooper Eigner. Eigner, I think it's how we say that, Eigner. At forward is a 6'2", senior, Jacob Heidern. At forward, a 6'2", junior, Jake Fuller. And at center, 6'5", junior, Clay Connor. Boonville 7 and 11, Austin Brooks, three years, has a record of 20 wins, 39 losses. They're on a three game losing streak. Losses to Forest Park, Mount Vernon, and Heritage Hills coming into the Hatchet House tonight. For Washington, Tyler Boyd, Dalton Thurston, and Zach Mann will be your guard. Zach is back in the lineup. Joe Ahoro, Nick Sandulo round out the starting five. Washington is 9 and 9, fresh off a big win against Heritage Hills in their last outing here on Tuesday. Big player to watch for tonight, Kyle. It's going to be Clay Connor. Connor averaging about 17 points a game. He's the real deal. You've got to keep a check on him. He's number five for the Boonville Pioneers. That's what I hear. Pretty nice player. He's what, a junior? Yes, he is. 6'5", junior shooting guard. Yeah, he's I'm gonna guess a guard, but he's really more than a guard. And I'm going to guess maybe Mann's going to get that assignment, if I had to guess. Both teams have been introduced. Boonville in the black, trimmed in gold. Hatches will be in the white, trimmed in black. Again, Washington right back here tomorrow night. South Knox Spartans will be the opponent tomorrow. Another tough one. Yeah, they beat Bar Reeve, which was a... First time in like 36 years at South Knox. 47 years. 47? Yeah. That's older than me. Yeah. It's been a long time. So That's South older Knox than is you the either. real deal. The South Knox Spartans um, will be in the Hatchet House. They're 12 and 7 coming in tomorrow night, so they're the real deal. Connor jumps center against Zach Mann. The opening tip belongs to Boonville. We'll play basketball. Here we go, right to left for Boonville in the opening half. Just underway. Jacob Heidern. It is controlled now by Cooper Einer. Washington in their man-to-man -man defense. Fuller works in the paint, kicks out to Sharp. Sharp brings it top of the key. Over to Fuller. Now to Heidern. They're working it around. Boonville very patient in their opening possession here, waiting for a good shot. Guess who? It's Cooper. Cooper's shot contested nicely, and it's going to be short. So the rebound controlled by Washington. So a nice stop on the first possession by the Hatch defense. Here comes Washington now. A minute gone in the opening period. Sandulo over to Thurston. Now Zach Mann works at top of the key to Horrell. Joa goes back to Mann. Mann over to Sandulo in front of the Boonville bench. Washington doing a nice job re reversing the basketball like we talked about the other night. Yep. That's a big key. That helped them in that vent, uh, that Nice win against Heritage Chills. There's Horrell. Good strong move. Just a little bit too strong as it's too hard off the glass. Rebound to Cooper and the Pioneers. So both teams have had a shot. Neither able to score. Six and a half to go. First quarter scoreless at the Hatchet House. There's a shot up and no good by Cooper Einer. Rebound by the Hatchets. Tyler Boyd, top of the key for Washington. Two minutes gone. We're still scoreless. Here's Thurston open for three. He'll try it. No good off the back of the rim. Battle for the rebound. Out of bounds. Never saw him point, and but it's yeah. going to Boonville. Yeah, he'll give it to Boonville. Good hustle by Sandulo after that rebound. Just couldn't come up with it. I was waiting for that point two didn't get it. I was waiting for him to give it to Washington just for the <laughs> hustle of Sandulo. Yeah, it was a nice effort. Tonight's game brought to you by 1-800 Water Damage of Southern Indiana and a and Home Center more than a hardware store. Also Aces Restaurant and the Washington Country Club. Proud sponsors of Hatchet Hoops. Top of the key, Boonville has it. We're still scoreless. Five and a half to go in the opening period. Dominique Sharp it's kicked over to Heidern. Now we go out to the center circle, Einer. 
Boonville's very patient. They're waiting for a good shot. Now they go inside, and that's going to be two for Heidern. Uh, Hatchet's trying to get the charge. No good on that. 2 nothing. Boonville leads. So the Pioneers have first score. Five minutes left in the opening period. This three-game schedule in one week, Kyle, makes it tough, really, doesn't it? You don't have a lot of time to prepare between games. No, you just got to rely on what you do each and every day when you've got a quick little schedule. It was a nice Ooh, pass nice to Mann. Sack Mann gets it off the glass. Great feed by Boyd to make it happen. We're tied at two apiece. It's a nice curl cut by Mann to the basket, and Tyler hit him right in stride for the, for the basket. Thanks to Elena Thorne, our camera operator tonight. J.J. Brown is the studio producer on the YouTube channel. Traveling violation against the Pioneers. Back to Washington. Welcome our listeners on the radio and on the YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us for Hatchet Hoops on this Thursday night. As I said earlier, this is one of the only games here in our area. Little 2-2-1 token pressure here by Boonville. Found a lot of traps. Washington gets it across. Kicked by Cooper. Stays with the Hatchets. Want to congratulate senior Elena Thorne. I saw today she got invited to the top 60 workout. It's awesome. So that's kind of the first step, I think, is a possible all-star type deal. Very uh, well deserved. Very well deserved. So good luck to her with how that goes. You know, everybody sees her on the court. You don't get to see her in the classroom. She is just an amazing student, part of the radio TV class. But uh, at the top of her class, actually, she got the uh, Lilly Scholarship Award. Shot up by Horrell, just missed, in and out. Rebound controlled by Boonville. And Cooper brings it across now for the Pioneers. Cooper with the kick out. Hydern. Now here's a three ball. It's no good. Dominic Sharp trying to get that one. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebound back to the Hatchets. Still tied at two apiece. Low scoring game. Three and a half left in this opening quarter with Washington and the Boonville Pioneers. Horrell draws the foul. He shot faking. He had Cooper in the air. It's going to go on Cooper, I believe. Washington yep. really looking to use that curl cut as that was Horrell that time that was going to have a wide open layup till he shot faked. And Bryson Knighty going to check in the game for Thurston. So Knighty had the eight three-pointers, 26 points in that win against Heritage Hills on Tuesday. He'll enter the lineup now for Washington. Inbounds it to Boyd. Back to Bryson. Bryson goes over to Sandulo. We're approaching three minutes. Now Knighty's open for the three. Nope, too strong on that one. He missed his first one the other night as well. Clay Connor. Got to be a charge. Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd took the charge. Boy, he does that well, doesn't he? Does a nice job stepping in. Cooper Agner is what Don Spillman is saying, so that's what I'll go with. Cooper Agner. It's A-I-G-N-E-R. 2-2, still tied. My goodness, Kyle. We've got <laughs> three minutes left in this first quarter and only four points on the board. Did you take the under tonight? <laughs> Here's Sandulo. Good shot fake. He draws the foul and he'll shoot two. That's going to be his second foul on uh, Connor. He's going to have to go to the bench. That's big, isn't it? It's good, yep. He's their leading scorer with 17 points per game, and he's in trouble. He's not happy about it. Not with the call, because he knows he fouled, yeah. but just the situation. Hatchet working good offense. Sandulo's free throw's good. I like the way the Hatchets are using the shot fake. When you're not big and you're playing against bigger players, those things are important. It's the little things. Yep, we had that last night against Terry to Chills, which was crucial. Checking in now is Eli Smith for Boonville as both free throws count for Sandulo. He makes it a 4-2 ball game. And Thurston comes back in now for Zach Mann. Zach may be trying to get his legs still under him. Yep. 2.42 you know. to go, first period. 4-2, Washington with the lead. Boonville has the ball. Dominique Sharp brings it across. Sharp 
guarded by Boyd. Close to a five-second count. Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Good job by Tyler Boyd. I tell you, Boonville's a little shaken right now. Sharp is kind of talking to his team about that. So the Hatchets get it back on the defensive stop with a two-point lead and the ball. 2.20 left in the opening period. Tyler Boyd gets it across. Both teams kind of <laughs> just trying to, not used to playing on a Thursday night, I think, that, Kyle. That might be it. <laughs> Here's Bryson Knighty over to Sandula, or excuse me, to Horrell. <sighs> Horrell's pass is deflected, but he keeps it. Luckily, gets it back. And hatchets will reset. Mm. Under two minutes now. Unfortunate, because he did have a hatchet underneath, and they're going to get Horrell on the moving screen. Joe O'Horrell whistled for the foul, his first, team's first. So Boonville gets it back. Bobcat of Davies County, a proud sponsor tonight. Also want to thank um, CPU Fix-Up on Main Street, downtown Washington, and the Crane Federal Credit Union, banking on a hatchet victory. All proud supporters of hatchet hoops. Minute 40 left in this opening period, 4-2. Washington with the lead. Boonville has the ball. Good defense by Horrell. Boonville just not able to get anything on the offensive end. Yep, Fuller, though, did break free, as you said that, and he gets the feed from Sharp, and he'll get the two-point bucket, tied at four apiece. Looked like Horrell kind of turned his ankle and was out of the play at that point, and easy bucket for Boonville. All tied at four apiece. We've got a minute left in the opening period here at the Hatchet House with Washington and Boonville. Ah, ball tipped away. Pioneers get the steal, so Boonville has a chance to take the lead here with this possession. Eli Smith tries for three. It's going to be too strong. Long rebound chased down by Tyler Boyd, and the Hatchets get it back. Washington wants the last shot now as Tyler Boyd holds up one finger. 40 seconds left. 4-4, four to four, Boonville and Washington. Defensive battle. It is. Low scoring affair tonight for sure. Foul called against Boonville away from the ball. That's going to go on Jacob Hydern. His first team's fourth foul. And Zach Mann is going to check back in for the final 28 seconds now. Mann will replace Nick Sandulo. And Mason Gladish is coming in now for Boonville. Gladish will replace Cooper Agner. Whoa. I don't what? know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened, honestly. They reset it, though. Did you see that, Kyle? Yeah. Boonville asked questions about that. 15 seconds. Washington holds for the last shot. Four to four. <laughs> a low, low scoring game in this opening quarter. All tied up here at the Hatchet House. At five seconds left. Underneath, got to put it up. No shot. That's the way the first quarter ends. We're all tied after one period, a low scoring game. Washington four, Boonville four. Back to the Hatchet House in one minute on WAMW. Aces, Sunday 7 p.m. February 27th, comedy magician Ben Seidman. Ben Seidman's signature style is a creative mixture of psychological magic, stand-up comedy, pickpocketing, and sleight of hand. The show is playful and fully interactive. Tickets are gonna be $25. And you can get them by accessing the Aces Restaurant and Bar Facebook page. Sunday, February 27th, 7 p.m. Be sure to make a dinner reservation and get your tickets. Aces Restaurant and Bar, located at the Washington Country Club. Crane Credit Union has been named one of Indiana's best credit unions.
on either side. No. Just a defensive battle. It's uh, as cold in the Hatchet House as it is outside at the moment. As temperatures are dropping. Washington has the ball, and Knighty's open for three. Top of the key, couldn't get it. Rebound controlled by Boonville. Pioneers push it up. Dominic Short. They work it around now to Mason Gladish. Short kick out to Eli Smith. Smith over to Jake Fuller. Fuller's three is off the mark, and the rebound to Tyler Boyd. Neither team able to find the bucket right now. 7.26 left first half. Underneath, Tyler Boyd kick out to Horrell. He tries for three, missed it. Smith on the weak side gets the board, and Boonville pushes it up. Pioneers work it to short, over to Smith. Now around to Mason Gladish. Here's Fuller out to Gladish. Gladish, no good. Rebound tipped. Back in play, and Boyd controls it. Good job by Horrell keeping that alive for the Hatchets. Washington far side. Zach Mann over to Boyd. Now here's 93. There he got it. Price at 90. Makes it 7 to 4. Hatchet lead is at 3. Six and a half to go. Just happy to see the ball go on the bucket. <laughs> I know it. I know it. In soccer, Monty Critchlow always tells me a low-scoring game is the best game. In basketball, it, it's just not a lot of fun, is it, Kyle? It's brutal. <laughs> this ball batted around. Hatchets finally come up with it as the three was off the mark by the Pioneers. Here comes Washington. Thurston in the corner for three. Look at that. There we go. Dalton Thurston drains the three. Timeout, Boonville. 10-4, good buddy. Hatchets with a six-point lead. I didn't get our three-point sponsor tonight, but uh, right now they're paying uh, 20 bucks. They're probably kind of hoping 90 gets hot, but not too hot. <laughs> no. You know, a, a good sponsor won't care. They'll pay it, right? That's right. I knew a guy once that went double on the second half and... <laughs> <laughs> kind of got burned on that one. But it was all good, right? Hey, I'll tell you what, last, for good night, cause. last night the end zone, what they end up paying, I think it was 180. Like 180 bucks. Yeah. 180. Staying open late tonight, making extra shirts, guarantee that. <laughs> but it was great. We thank them for doing that. Yeah, Kurt, the team also doing our plaques for the player of the game for, for both teams this year at the end zone. Just finished up the girls for the postseason awards program. Under six minutes to go, 10 to four. Hatchets lead by six. Boonville has the ball after the quick timeout. Good defense by the Hatchets as that's going to be a turnover. Should yes, be, it yes. Is. Over and back. Turnover number four for Boonville. See what Dr. The Jason can do. Omer is the three-point oh. sponsor tonight. He's probably in attendance as well. Omer Chiropractic. Thank you, Dr. Omer. Ten to four. Hatchet lead by six with the ball. Sack man drives the paint. Kicks it out to Thurston for three more. No good. Rebound weak side to Agner. Agner will bring it across. Works it in the near corner now. It goes to Short. Dominic Short. Feed underneath. Good feed. And that's going to be two for Cooper Agner. I was impressed with the catch as that was in traffic at the back door. Yeah, nice nice job. Yeah, he pulled that in. That was a rocket, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good pass. 10-6. Hatchet lead cut to four. Here's 90 for a long three. Can't get it. Rebound to Agner. And he'll bring it across. So Boonville chopping away at that hatchet lead. Mason Gladish goes out to Eli Smith. Smith now with it at the volleyball line. Works it to Gladish over to Short. Skip pass. Here's a three by Agner. It's going to be too strong. A rebound, though, saved by Boonville. Put back is no good, and this time the hatchets come up with it. Tell you what, I got Boyd for six rebounds already. Nice job. 
Halfway through the second period, 10 to six, Washington leads by four. Hatchets have the ball. Tyler Boyd controls for Washington. Looks into 90, 90 out to Thurston. Thurston goes to Mann. Just not a lot of action in this game, Kyle, but the Hatchets maintaining a lead at the moment. Looking to go above 500 to 10 and 9 if they can seal a win on the home court tonight. Zach Mann, far side. Brings it back out to reset. He'll go over to Tyler Boyd. They always tell me patience is a virtue, Kyle. Is that true? That is true. <laughs> We're going to get a good shot here. You didn't say that with a lot of confidence. Traveling violation called against Thurston. Took a step, apparently, as he tried to make his move. Sandulo coming back in for Zach Mann. Also, Jake Fuller re-enters now for Boonville in place of Eli Smith. Three minutes to go first half. You always live by that motto, don't you? Patience is a virtue. Yeah, but I'm terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> He's honest, folks. He's honest. Tonight's game brought to you by D2B Pest Control of Southern Indiana. Also, Davies Community Hospital and the Core Center. And the Donaldson Insurance Agency with Donaldson's your number one. Under three minutes to go, 10 to 6. Washington leads by four. Boonville has the ball. Fuller hands off to Agner. Agner now goes back to Fuller. Dominic Sharp. Now makes his move, left-handed shot on the drive. It's too strong. Rebound pulled in by Thurston. Hatchets up the floor. Sandulo. Oh, batted loose at a steal by Boonville. Foul called on 90. That was a good defensive stop by Cooper Agner. First foul whistled against Washington. That's 90. That's the first foul against 90, the second team foul, I should say. And it'll be Boonville basketball. Only six fouls whistled in this first half, four against Boonville, two against Washington. We're in the final two minutes of the first half. Ooh, almost a turnover. Washington 10, Boonville 6. Dominique Sharp. Oh, no. Three free throws coming. For Jake Fuller. Mm -mm -mm. Tough break there for Thurston. He was closing out hard, and he didn't get him on the arm on the shot, which is good, but he just didn't let the player come down. And you got to give him space to land. And he's going to get three shots as the first one is up, and it's good by Fuller. 10 to 7. Programming note, be sure to join us for Super Auction Saturday. This Saturday, final week, we're blowing out all remaining items. 10.05 Saturday morning here on Memories 107.9. Bid early, bid often from the comforts of your home on Super Auction Saturday, this Saturday morning. Two for two, and he hits all three. So Fuller has five points now. He makes it a one-point ball game, 10 to 9. Is that score correct? 10 to 9, it is. It's hard to believe, but it is correct. A very, very low scoring game here tonight. Washington leads by one. Minute 45 left in the first half. Not the first quarter, the first half. Thurston brings it top of the key. Now hands off to Horrell. Joe Horrell over to Tyler Boyd. Now here's 90. Washington working in on the outer perimeter at the moment, waiting for a good shot here. That's Horrell making his move. It's not going to fall, and the rebound is controlled by Boonville. Sharp brings it across. Boonville with a chance to take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. As Jake Fuller controls. Fuller hands off to Mason Gladish. Gladish over to Sharp. Dominic Sharp. 
Oh, tries to get the back door cut from Magner. It's denied by the hatchet defense and out of bounds back to Washington. That was a good stop. Now let's make him pay here. A lot different than last night's game for sure, Kyle. Man, I tell you. Or Tuesday night's game, I should say. I would say we're going to hold it for one. It's 40 seconds to go here in the half. 10-9, to nine, Washington leads by one. So Boonville is now switching all screens. So Washington just has always run just a very good motion offense. But oh. this man just loses it. Man couldn't handle the pass. Boonville takes it away. So now Boonville gets possibly the last shot here. 15 seconds on the clock. Sharp. Oh, he throws it away. It's back now to Washington. Turnover number six for Boonville. Interesting note. Boonville's played the entire second period without their leader, Clay Connor. He's been on the sideline in foul trouble. But the Hatchets haven't been able to capitalize, Kyle. Two seconds. Oh, Tyler Boyd at the buzzer. The shot will count. Nobody stopped him. And that's it for the first half of play. We'll take it. <laughs> we will take it. At the half on the A&R Home Center scoreboard, Washington 12, Boonville 9. Not an offensive clinic by any stretch of the imagination, but the Hatchets go to the locker room with a three-point lead. It's not going to take long to add these stats. We'll be back with a halftime show after this on WAMW.
Not much to really talk about in that first half. There's quite a few rebounds. <laughs> That's about it, individual scoring. Uh, we do have five players in the scoring column. Nick Sandulo has three. Dalton Thurston has three. Tyler Boyd has two. Zach Mann has two. And, or I'm sorry, Bryson Knighty had the three. Nick Sandulo has two. So Bryson Knighty has three. Dalton Thurston has three. Tyler Boyd, Zach Mann, and Nick Sandulo have two. So five, point, uh, five players in the scoring column, but um, the leading scorer only has three points at the half. The 12th total for Washington. On the Boomdale side, it's five points for Jake Fuller. He's leading all scores. Then it's two points for Jacob Hydorn and two points for Cooper Agner. That's it, Kyle, in the scoring. 12 to 9, 21 points in 16 minutes. Not a offensive uh, showdown by any stretch of the imagination, but the hatchets are at the locker room at the half with a three-point lead. Well, I know we talk about your shooting a lot in our broadcast, but uh, you could probably play in this game tonight. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Was that a compliment? Or? We'll leave it at that. Leave the <laughs> viewers just... <laughs> we'll let them decide. Uh, Boonville, team stats, three out of seven from two-point range for 43%. They have not found the range yet from three-point range as they are 0 for 6. They had one offense rebound Eight defensive, perfect from the foul line, three out of three for 100%, and they ended the first half with six turnovers. Your hatchets are two for four from two for 50%, two out of nine from three-point range for 22%. They did not have an offense rebound in the first half. They had nine defensive. going to point this out. I've got uh, Tyler Boyd having six of those nine, so your point guard, being as scrappy as his he is coming up with six of those rebounds. That's pretty impressive in the first half by Tyler. Uh, free throws are two out of two, and they had five turnovers to end the half. So not a lot of offense. We mentioned a uh, defensive battle to this point. Um, I think both Shake and I are hoping for a little bit more offense in the second half just to kind of keep us awake up here. Well, the, the, the deal is, Kyle, this is a game we got to get. You know, you called it, I think you called it to a T. I, I, not necessarily a trap game. A trap game is when you play a team that has a, a, a really bad losing record. It's just one of those games where at this point the Hatchets really need to seal it to go above that 500 mark at 10-9 with South Knox coming in tomorrow. Uh, and try to ride the momentum from that Heritage Chills win. like to get three wins this week, especially here on our home floor uh, with senior night coming up on Monday night, so against Pike Central. So uh, if nothing else, we just got to get some spark here in the second half. We need this win. Yeah, and, and I've been impressed with our defense. We've done a nice job. You know, anytime your offense is struggling, you want your defense to keep you in the game, and Washington's done that to this point. Some of that has been helped by Connor being out with foul trouble. Uh, Boonville's main guy, at least on the offensive end, uh, picked up two fouls there in the first quarter, and he sat the rest of the half. So Washington wasn't really able to take advantage of having their top scorer on the bench for most of the half as just uh, they have a three-point lead. But, um, you know, they do have a lead, and they're going to make some adjustments. As I mentioned, Boonville kind of switched up their defense from early in the game, and started to switch all those screens away from the basketball, and it kind of gave Washington a little bit of trouble. But uh, I look for them to regroup here uh, in the locker room and come back out and play much better second half offensively. Second half action coming up. It's Washington 12, Boonville 9. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more from the Hatchet House after this on WAMW.
Thank you for joining us on this Thursday night. Thanks again to Elena Thorne, our camera operator, J.J. Brown, studio producer for the video coverage on the WHSH Broadcasting YouTube channel. Boonville starts with the basketballs. We begin the second half. It's Washington 12, Boonville 9. It's not been a, a shooting uh, frenzy as Connor comes up quick, misses, but an offensive rebound and a putback is good by Jacob Heidor. I tell you, that's tough. That's not what you want to see to start this second half. Well, it was an air ball, drew nothing, didn't hit the backboard rim, nothing, and uh, just fell at the feet of Hydron. And now here's a steal by Connor, and Connor puts it in for two more. Four quick points, and Coach Miller says, timeout, boys. That's not how we wanted to start. You're right. Well, Connor's going to be back, and he's going to be a fear a force because he doesn't like sitting on the bench, and he had to set most of that first half. So he's going to make his presence known in the second half. And he's well-rested, you know. Um, didn't exert any energy in that first half, so he's going to come out with a full head of steam, no doubt. Great timeout by Coach Miller. He said, hey, enough's enough, boys. Let's go. Well, when a team scores nine points the total first half and they scored four in the first 45 seconds, get your attention quick. It does. Back to uh, Hatchet Basketball, 7.13 to go in the third period. Let's thank some more sponsors, Davies Community Hospital and the Core Center. Also want to thank Purdue Farms and Sparklight Communications, proud sponsors, McAllister Machinery, a Caterpillar dealer, Memoring Farms and Memoring Ag Services, all a uh, part of tonight's broadcast. Washington with the ball following the timeout. Here's Zach Mann. Good, nice move to the hoop, and Zach puts it high off the glass for two. Makes it 14-13 Washington. That's the fourth point for Mann. Good to have him back. Does he play a fall sport, Dwayne? Is he soccer, or do you know? Um, I, I do believe he played soccer, yes. There's a kick out for three for Boonville. No good. Perfect block out by Horrell. He gets the weak side board. Here comes Washington. Tyler Boyd over to Zach Mann. Mann with a kick out to Bryson Knighty. Now top of the key. Horrell over to Thurston. Here's Horrell. Now to Mann. Zach goes back to Joa. Joa, no. Rebound Thurston. Put back, yes. Dalton Thurston for the offensive rebound on the score. He's got five. 16-13 Washington. Well, back to man. I was just thinking if he doesn't, man, I'd like to see him on the gridiron next year for the Hatchets playing some football because he's an athlete. He's fast. Does Both a lot of, of those good man things. guys are fast. What Kyle happened there? We have a the, missed shot. Yep. Quick miss. And then on the other end, Dalton Thurston tries for the shot. Horrell's going to be called for the foul on the rebound. <laughs> Got here, Connor's coming back out. He didn't pick up a foul or anything, did he? Shake? No, no he did not. No, Surprised that, to see him going to the bench. That foul was on Horrell, his second, team's first. Five and a half to go, third period, Washington 16, Boonville 13. Dominic Sharp now with a left-hand dribble underneath. Good feed, and there's two for Cooper Agner. 16-15, one-point ball game. <laughs> at least there's some more offense in this third period, Kyle. They're at pace to score more than they did the whole first half on both teams. That'd be okay. Thurston. Oh, man, had the right idea. Zach Mann was cutting, but just couldn't handle the pass. Out of bounds, back to Boonville. Edley Mortuary, proud sponsor tonight. Treating you when you need the care the most. Gladish. Now to Agner. Agner gets the charge, I believe. Yep. Tyler Boyd picking it up again. And it's out of bounds to Washington. 
Cooper Agner second, first team foul of the second half for the Pioneers. Once again, Washington back here tomorrow. South Knox will be in town. Don't forget the IHSAA basketball sectional pairing show Sunday night, 5 to 7 p.m. here on Memories 107.9. We'll be talking tournament time before you know it. Zach Mann tries to battle, draws the double team. Now he's in deep trouble and a good timeout call. Zach alertly calls timeout. Well, we're going to Princeton for that sectional this year, Kyle. It should be a good one. I, I'm just looking forward to clinkers. <laughs> Here's the thing, Kyle. This hatchet team, my goodness. We know what they're capable of. We, you know, you go back to the Heritage Hills game. Uh, we've played some really good basketball games this year. Those solid uh, Iron Five, as we call them, Tyler Boyd, Dalton Thurston, Logan Reister, Zach Mann, Joel Hurl. Of course, we've played without Reister now for two weeks, and we're starting to fill the gap. But imagine when Logan gets back in there. I'm kind of excited about this. Not kind of. I am excited about this tournament coming up. No, I can't we can uh, play disagree with, with you. Yeah, it, it'll be wide open. Our sectionals, no doubt about it. I think any team in it can win it. You just got to be the best team on that given night. So we'll see. Tyler Boyd at the wing kicks it to Zach Mann. Now it's to Bryson Knighty. Back to Mann. Mann goes into Boyd. Boyd up against a lot of pressure. Didn't get the shot, but Tyler does earn the free throws, and he'll shoot two. That's a guy. Tyler Boyd has been the strong force for this team all year. He's been the leader. He's been the signal caller. He's been the ball carrier. Uh, he can get to the free throw line when he needs to. Well, we wouldn't uh, be in the position we are as a team without him. There's no doubt about it. He is the general out there. Never comes off the floor and uh, just does a nice job and, and plays his role to perfection. Over the back against Sandulo on the rebound as Tyler missed the second free throw. So it goes to Boonville now. 17-15. Hatchet lead is by two. 4.05 left in this third period. Dominic Sharp walks it acro across. Hands off to Jake Fuller. Now it goes to Heider. Mm. And my goodness, that's too easy. Cooper Agner broke free and lays it in for an easy two. We're tied at 17. He just slipped the screen and nobody went with him. 90 with a long three off the mark. Rebound to Sandulo. Second chance here. Here's Mann going into Boyd. Tyler. Oh, he fouled and he's going to shoot two more free throws. Coach Brooks is trying to explain to his player that Tyler's left-handed. He's going to go to his strong hand. you got to realize that. Mm, Tyler nope. missed the first free throw. Know the scouting report. One more free throw for Tyler Boyd, the senior. Uh, missed them both that time. Rebound chased down by Boonville. Pioneers have it. Fuller. Oh, there's Tyler Boyd getting the steal, and he'll lay it in for two. He was upset about missing those free throws. Instead, he'll lay a, put in a layup, make it 19-17. Good job, Tyler. Hatchets back by two. Three minutes left, third quarter. Sharp in the paint. No. Rebound to Bryson Knighty. Knighty. Works it across, hands off to the point guard, Boyd. 2.45 left now, third period. Tyler Boyd off to 90. 90 for the three. No, can't get it. Rebound controlled by Boonville. Agner to Sharp. Sharp in the corner to Gladish. Now they work it to Sharp. Here's Agner. Cooper Agner, about 12 points a game for the junior. He's another force. Sharp is open for three. He'll miss it. Rebound to Washington. Tyler Boyd into Thurston. 
the up and one. Thurston with a chance for a three point play at the line. Good job by the Hatchets pushing it up. Great block out there by the Hatchets. The ball almost bounced twice hitting the floor before we finally came up with it. Everybody blocked out, but nobody went after it. Clay Boy. Connors coming back in now. We just really haven't had a chance to see him much tonight at all, Kyle. I'm not sure what the deal is there with. Two fouls. Get him yeah. early. The free throw was good for the three-point play for Thurston. Thurston now with the three, five, seven, eight points. Good job by Dalton tonight. Two, Two minutes. Yep, two minutes to go in the third. 22-17, five-point lead, Hatchets. Jake Fuller works it over to Connor. Clay Connor, back to Fuller. Now Agner. Gladish, Agner, Fuller. Oh, almost picked there by Thurston. Connor, oh boy, that's a good strong move. Clay Connor, only four points tonight. He's got them all in this third quarter. He likes that spin move. 22-19. Minute 15 to go. Zach Mann, Ooh. Ooh, underneath the Boyd. Oh, boy, Hatchets batting it around. Zach Mann keeps it. Lost it. Timeout for Coach Miller. Good Man. timeout call. That was not pretty, was it, Kyle? It wasn't pretty at all, and I thought, we're going to get a wide-open layup out of this somehow. <laughs> but it didn't happen that way. Almost. Yeah. Williams Brothers Healthcare Pharmacy, a proud sponsor tonight, as well as your Edward Jones Advisors, Sarah Browning, Doug Bubalo, and Scott Cordova. Also, Bill Dobson Ford, a Dobson deal is a better deal. And RTC Communications in Montgomery. Washington 22, Boonville 19. Not a lot of excitement in this game, but the Hatchets are hanging on, doing what they need to do. They scored 12 total points in the first half. They've already got 10 in this third quarter. For Boonville, they've outscored themselves in the entire first half. They have nine. They now have ten in the third period. So a little more offense. It's still been ugly. It has. You know. <laughs> I mean. There's no fluid at all. <laughs> Kyle, you're supposed to add the color here. Well, it's all black and white. Is that what you're saying? We're about ready to start singing like you did the other <laughs> night. <laughs> I've heard a couple people tell me they were pretty impressed. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. They wanted to know when you were going to be on the community concert. Working on Tour. the album right now. Working on the album. Hmm. I will tell you this. Go to the WMW Facebook page. We have the guys with ties come to the classroom today in the radio TV class. I saw that. Impressive. My goodness. They blew us away. Just an impromptu little concert. Ooh. A foul called before the ball was inbounded against Sandulo. Mm. Mm -mm. Offensive foul. But those young men did do a nice job. I, I listened, and it was... Uh, it blew us away, honestly. And I only did the first minute, 10 seconds. You should see the finale. I wanted to leave you hungry for more. They're going to do a concert in the auditorium soon. I wish you would have had listed some of their names. I was trying to figure out who some of them were. You know? <laughs> I know. I apologize. I didn't get all their names. It was very impromptu. Connor hits the shot and gets a three-point play, possibly at the line. Foul called on Zach Mann. He's starting to take over these last few possessions. 22-21. Connor at the line to tie it up. His free throw is good. So we're all tied now, 22-22. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Some token pressure applied now by Boonville. It's kicked by the Pioneers. Boonville fans start to get a little loud. I like the intensity applied by they're, their team. They're picking it up a little bit. Knighty gets it in to Boyd. 30 seconds left. Boyd now off to Knighty. Hatchets do get it across. Washington wants one shot here to end this third quarter, hopefully. 
22-22, all tied up here at the Hatchet House tonight. PAC Conference game, Washington and Boonville. Five seconds, we gotta do something now. Zach Mann to 90. 90 puts it up at the buzzer, it's good. <laughs> Off the glass, he didn't have to call it. You don't have to call it. I, I think he meant to, it was just, uh, man, it was a runner and it was a beautiful runner. Nice with the kiss <laughs> off the glass. 24-22, Washington by a bucket. We've got eight minutes left here at the Hatchet House. Fourth quarter action in one minute on WAMW. Don Spillman, our public address announcer. With a friendly reminder for those fans heading home after this one, it is getting a little slick out there, so do be careful. Temperatures are dropping, and we've had a lot of rain in the last 12 hours. Washington starts with the ball to begin the fourth quarter, 24-22, Hatchets lead by a bucket. Tyler Boyd dribbles, hands off to 90, underneath Boyd. Now here's Horrell, Joa. Back to Boyd. Joa has it. Sticky pressure by Boonville. I'm starting to see Washington now figuring that switching the screens. A lot of guys going to set screens and then cutting to the basket. That's who's going to be open against those switches as Nidex 3 is up oh. and off the mark. No good. Rebound controlled by Boonville. Connor quickly up the floor. Clay Connor over to Sharp. Sharp. Works it to Agner. Now it goes back to Connor. Seven minutes to play. Connor pulls up and missed it. Rebound. Fuller. His put back no good, but the second time is good. That's Jake Fuller. Seven points, and we're tied at 24. It's going to be a dogfight. 6.45 left. Low scoring matchup. But all tied up, 24 apiece. Tyler Boyd. Off to 90. This is a gut check, you know. You got to scratch out a win, you know. You don't get style points in basketball, Kyle. You just have to have more points than your opponent yep. in this game. Horrell for three. He drained it. Needed it. Joe Horrell from downtown. That is his first points tonight. Needed it. 27-24, big bucket there by the senior. Hopefully that gets him going on the offensive end. Six minutes left to go now. Fuller. Agner off to short. Now it goes to Connor. Connor working on the far side. Oh, dribbling into pressure. He's going to earn two free throws. Tyler was just a little bit late. He went to his patent spin move, drove baseline, spin back to the middle, and Tyler was coming to catch him on the spin and just was a little bit late. Hey, be sure to go to WAMFM.com and register for a trip to Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. How about that? Man, making some, got some deep pockets. Ireland, Indiana, Kyle. Oh, excuse me. Ireland, Indiana. You and I love to stop there when we're going to Jasper. Or anywhere. Or anywhere. Connor's first free throw was good. It's dinner for four at the chicken place and Limousine service to get you there from A1 Limousine. You can register at WAMWAMFM.com for our trip to Ireland giveaway. March 14th, we'll announce the winner. 
And you're off to Ireland to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. What better place to celebrate? I mean, my goodness. It doesn't get any better, does it? It's pretty neat. Two free throws count for Connor. 27 to 26. We got a one-point ball game. It'll be hatchet ball when play resumes. Mentioned the uh, basketball round table. That is next Sunday. We're going to focus on the years 1970 to 1975 at the Davies County Museum. Highlighting Davies County basketball. Extremely great panel of guests will be joining us. They include Denny Arnold, Mike Chestnut, Mark Crane, Tim Cosby, Don Kelso, and Steve Brothers. Representing all four county schools. Sharing stories from High school basketball in Davies County, 1970 to 1975. It's a trip down memory lane you don't want to miss. You can be there in person at the museum. Sunday, February 27th, 2 to 5 p.m. If you can't be there, be sure to tune in. We'll bring it to you live here on Memories 107.9 next Sunday. Boonville, 1-2-2 two, two press. And, boy, pick from behind. That's got to be a foul, I believe, called against... What are they going to call? Clay Connor. Yep, it is called on Clay Connor. Ooh. Coach Brooks didn't like it. Just give credit to Tyler Boyd. He just, his pocket almost got picked, but he wasn't going to have it. Being in downtown Chicago, he wasn't going to let him get away with taking the ball from him. And Three fouls on Connor now. Well, this Boonville defense is really picked up. Hatchet's got to be able to take it on. They lead by one, 27-26, five and a half minutes to play. Zach Mann with the ball. <laughs> Coach Brooks, he gets out on the floor. He's very vocal, isn't he? Yeah. Does a nice job with this group. Yeah, he does. He's a good coach, good coach. Not sure how long he's been there. This may be his first year. No, um, I think it's three years now. Is it? About three is in the third year. Thurston got the ball underneath, couldn't get it to fall. Zach Mann tried to save it in, but Boonville comes up with a loose ball. And now the Pioneers go to Clay Connor for the three. He missed it. Good rebound by Tyler Boyd. He's got to be double digits on the rebound, Jim. Getting close. We got eight. Oh, 91 of the three, decided against it. Goes to Mann, now underneath. Boyd, kick out to 90. He'll take the three now. Ooh. It's a little short tonight. Man, from our angle, that looked good, didn't it, Kyle? Yep. Thought that was going. Just got to get a little bit more legs in it tonight. 425 left. Still a one-point lead for Washington, 27-26. Boonville with the ball. Connor controls on the far side, guarded by Mann. Clay Connor. Spin. He'll put it up, and he got it. Clay Connor, 8, 10, 11 points now, double figures for the junior. He puts Boonville up by one, 28, 27. Yeah. We got all five guys right around the 10 second line against that press. Got to spread them out a little bit. Joe Horrell is fouled. He'll shoot two free throws. I agree with you, Kyle. We were all kind of in a... Well, we, had a we have a 1-2-2 two, two press by Boonville, and we got two guards back, which is good. You know, a one-man front, you want two guards back for ball reversal. But then everybody else was straight across the 10-second line, and that makes it easy to guard. First free throw was good by Joa. He's got four now. He ties it up, 28 apiece. You're listening to Hatchet Basketball on WAMW. FM Washington and worldwide at WAMWAMFM.com. I'm Dwayne Shake along with Kyle Cordelius. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday as Joa hits both free throws. Puts Washington back up by one, 29 to 28. Three and a half minutes left to play here at the Hatchet House. Clay Connor, there's that spin move. Feed. Now it's back out top of the key. Agner in the paint. He'll stop, shoot, no. Rebound put back is good by Jacob Heidorn. Heidorn has six, 30 to 29. Seems like Boonville's in the right place at the right time all of a sudden. 
Hatchets break the pressure. Knighty's open for three. Still didn't get it. My goodness. And what do we got? Out of bounds to Boonville. Well, I'll tell you, that's the difference in two nights. Those shots were falling left and right for Knighty in that Heritage uh, Hills game. Just can't get them tonight. Again, every everyone looks really good, and I'm confident with him shooting the basketball. He's just got to get more legs, and that's something with playing. Oh, a foul called against Washington. Cooper Agner's going to shoot a pair of free throws now for Boonville. Chance to build their lead as they lead 30 to 29. Foul is called on Bryson Knighty. That's his second. Once again, we'll be back here tomorrow with the South Knox Spartans here at the Hatchet House. 7.30 tip off, 7.15 airtime. And then Monday night, it's senior night. Pike Central will be the opponent. We honor the seniors on this team. One for two at the line for Agners. He missed his second free throw. So two points separates the teams, 31-29. Boonville now has the lead, 2.44 left. Horrell drives, shoots, and scores. Good job, Joa. Joa, seven points all in this fourth quarter. How about getting a stop? I don't remember the last time was we had one. It's, uh, there it is. There it is, out of bounds to Washington as Agner dribbled off his leg. So there you go. You asked for it, you got it. It's been a while. Now full court pressure by Boonville. Washington needs to break it. Got a little bit of trouble. Get, get deep. Get deep. Thurston gets it over to 90. 90. Now works it back to Tyler Boyd. 2.15 left. Ah. Yep, that's a foul called on Boyd. Clay Connor picked him. He's got. Okay. I wasn't sure he was pointing. I thought maybe he's going to call it on Connor. As now it was called on Boyd. Yeah. So and it, it probably was right. One and bonus now for Connor at the line. Clay Connor is a perfect three for three. Kyle, you want to say that again? He's not missed tonight from the line. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Putting that hicks on him. But he didn't. So he earns the bonus. All of Connor's points have been in the second half. He was scoreless in the first half. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. He's got twelve in the second half. Give me a dollar if he makes this. That's when you'll. Yep. Uh, <laughs> not yet. 33-31. Both free throws count, and we got another timeout on the floor. Two twelve left. Kyle and I'll keep it here. South Knox tomorrow night. Kyle, the uh, Spartans again got a nice win against Bar even their last outing. It was, um, I tell you, uh, Dakota Candler is the 6'5 junior. Got to watch for with that Spartan team tomorrow night. But I listened back to uh, the broadcast with Bar Reed. They had some players step up big. Dylan Mater. Um, they've just got two, four, six. They got about seven players they can go to. And it's going to be a tough, tough night tomorrow night with the South Knox Spartans. These games are so crucial, though, down the stretch. Yeah. But these are good games for Washington to be in. I like this type of game. Uh, this time of year, you want those good, close battles where you got to try to learn how to close games out. Gut check is what we call yep. it. Yep, and uh, Mr. Spillman just announced, uh, all of you be careful on your way out. Uh, there's ice on all the vehicles outside as it is temperatures now dropped and all that moisture and, and rain. A little bit of freezing rain going on out there, so be careful on your way home tonight. Just be careful. Yes, absolutely. I was talking to uh, some friends in Missouri today. They didn't have school. They had the freezing temperatures. I said, you guys are about a day ahead of us, so it was heading our way. And He said it was really raining, uh, icing pretty good at that time. That was this afternoon when I talked to him, so I think we're getting what they had. Full court pressure. Washington gets it across. Tyler Boyd now. Two minutes left. 33-31. Hatchets trail Boonville by two. Horrell is fouled, and he's going to shoot two free throws. Good drive again by Joa. As we've mentioned, uh, you know, scattering report on him is be there when he catches it and don't let him get a shot off, and he's realized that tonight. 
he's looking to attack the basket here late in the game, and that's what we need. My good friend Doyle says the steps are slick, so please be careful. You know, you think about driving, but let's not forget about walking to get there. It's slick. First free throw was good. Second free throw was good. So Horrell ties it up at 33 apiece with under two minutes left. Definitely do not need any claims out there. <laughs> That's coming straight from your insurance man, <laughs> Kyle Cornelius, ladies and gentlemen. Minute 45 left to go. Fuller kicks it over to Connor. Clay Spin. Connor in the paint. Puts it up. Missed it. Rebound Horrell. Good job, Joe. Boy, he skied yep. up to get that one. Big rebound. There's Zach Mann out to Thurston. Boyd over to Joa. Washington with a chance to regain the lead here. We're tied at 33. Ah, Mann able to hang on, thank goodness. Mm. 90 now, Horrell. Horrell puts it up and got it! Wow. Joa Horrell from downtown. That's another $10 from Dr. Jason Omer at huh. Omer Chiropractic. Glad someone plugged in the microwave. 36-33, yeah, Joa. 6, 8, 10, 12 points in this fourth quarter yeah. for Joe Horrell. Somebody plugged him in. <laughs> we got to get our shirts back out, Kyle. Agner now drives. Oh. Travel. No, he got it and won. Mm. Mm. Cooper Agner has a chance to make it a three-point play and tie it back up at the line. 36, 35, 90 whistle for his third, seventh team foul for Washington, or eighth team foul for Washington. That was a tough drive and a tough finish. The free throw is short. Rebound, Washington. So now 36, 35. Pressure again by Boonville. Ah, and the Hatchets get it back. And there's a foul. They call a timeout. Okay. Oh, a timeout. Timeout call. Man, I tell you, if we would just look down the floor, Joa finally went deep against that 1 2 2, and there was nobody around him. Everybody was at half court, and he was standing at the block. We just couldn't see. Ooh. 36 35. Washington by one. It will be hatchet basketball when play resumes. Wow, this about, has been an interesting game tonight, hasn't it? I mean, how about Boyd with a hustle? I mean, that was a turnover and going to be Boonville's ball underneath their basket. He tracked it down and luckily got a timeout before he went out of bounds. Yeah, you're right. This has been a game. I mean, <laughs> you go to the Heritage Chills game and then you go to this one. You got to win all types of games. You do. This is gut check time, as I mentioned earlier. One point game, 36.6 on the clock. It'll be Washington's ball. We're going to have to go the full length and look for Boonville to be in that 1 2 2. And I'm telling you, Coach Shookman and Coach Miller drawing something up here. But I'm telling you, if we can get somebody that'll just creep back a little bit, I think we'll catch them off guard. Here we go. Post game report coming up. We'll have the Sparklight High Speed Hustle Award winner, Bill Thompson Ford Tough, player of the game, and the overall MVP from Purdue Farms and Heller's Country Garden. That's all coming up on the Hatchet post game. Knighty will trigger it in. Hatchets get it to Horrell. Joa goes to Tyler. Now Dalton Thurston. And the Hatchets turn it over. Boonville gets the steal. And, yep. Clay Connor gets it in one. Tough break for Ooh, the Hatchets. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Knighty whistled for his fourth, I believe. Got to get a rebound here. Down one, 25 seconds to go. Clay Connor at the line to try to complete the three point play. And the free throw is short. Rebound to Knighty. Pick it up. Hatchets have it with 20 seconds left. Here we go. We got to get it across. There's a foul oh. called, and why did he foul? I don't know. Man, and Coach Brooks is saying, why are you fouling? Because that's going to put him at the line, and it's going to be Tyler Boyd shooting it. That's not what Coach Brooks wanted at all. It is going to be a bonus, though. You would think Coach Brooks might call a timeout, but he's not. Big free throws here for Tyler Boyd. One for four tonight. 
Boyd's free throw is good. Got a boy. We're tied up. One more coming up, 37-37. 14.8 seconds remaining. <laughs> I know Coach Brooks did not want that foul. Remember, if, if Connor has the ball and he's driving left, he's going to spin back right. Free throw for Boyd. He hit them both. 38-37, Washington by one. Here comes Boonville with the ball. Here he comes. Yeah, Connor's going to take it. You know that. There's the shot. It's no good. Rebound, no good. Rebound, no good. Out of bounds. Oh, oh. That's a good call. With Boonville. I think it's a good call. And Coach Brooks wants a timeout. <laughs> Coach Brooks wanted a foul first. He's got to be careful. He was right in the official's ear. The official giving him the timeout. <laughs> well, I didn't see much. I mean. I think you let him play it at that yeah. point, Kyle. Yeah, that let him play it out. And there wasn't. There was a little bit of contact, but nothing to where I said, man, we got away with one. Uh, but nobody's hurt. I mean, he needs to forget about that. He's got three seconds and, and the ball out of bounds. Draw the play. Yep. That's right. Here comes the out of bound play. It's going to be baseline for Boonville underneath their bucket. They've got enough time to get it off. I don't like this scenario, Kyle. I don't like it at all. It'll be all right. Just got to communicate on defense. You know, if we're switching screens, everybody's got to know. We're switching on these screens out of bounds. If we're not switching, fight through, force up a shot. But the main thing is it's not the first shot that usually gets you. It's that put offensive back. put back. So you cannot relax once that ball goes up, even though there's just three seconds. There's still time for a shot and a tip. 38-37. Washington leads by one. It will be Boonville's basketball underneath the buckets. When play resumes, here it comes down to this. Oh, be careful. Kyle Mann is guarding Clay Connor and the official coming out. As they're already bumping. And he's saying, boys, hey. <laughs> Getting it under control right away. Gonna watch for a lob to Connor. Here it comes, Agner. Looking to trigger it in. Goes I like it. Sharp. Sharp puts it up. What's the call? I don't know. What's the call? I don't know what the call is. Oh, no. I'm not sure what he Oh, know. no. He's not going to call that at the buzzer, is he? He's calling a foul at the buzzer. On a block out. He's calling the foul at the buzzer. On a block out. Now they're all three discussing it. Yeah, he's calling me. Coach Miller says, "You." I read Coach Miller's lips. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. He called the foul, folks. As the buzzer sounded, they'll put four tenths of a second on the clock. And it's going to be a bonus. That's a bad. Oh, oh, no. Oh, son of what? a gun. Well, two shots for ten fouls. Oh, okay. Ten fouls, two oh, shots. Fuller is three out of three from the line, but these are pressure That's free throws. That's awful. That's awful. He missed the first one. The ball never lies. That was a bad call, Kyle. Now, well, timeout. Nope. Ice him. Well, I don't know. I guess you don't have to ice him. Ah, the just let him, yeah, let him think about it here. He's shaking, shaking around, so. 38-37. I see that, him shaking. The Hatchets lead by one. Second free throw is up, and it is good. So Fuller does tie it. That's it. I can't believe he called that foul. Hey, this has just been a whale of a game. Let's play four more minutes. Oh, my goodness. It was totally after the buzzer. Yeah. And, and, the, and all, the other two officials told him, you, you don't see that call. You don't let. Well, let, let's tell it. So the ball was inbounded way out to the volleyball line in front of the coach's coaching box. And the player from Boonville just chucked it. 
Okay, three seconds ago, chucks it. The ball hits the rim, and it bounces towards the Washington cheer block. Buzzer sounds, and then he calls a foul on a block out. Not sure about it. No. Totally. I mean, maybe he gets paid by the hour tonight. I don't know if, I, if Larry's just, paying these guys by the well, hour. but the two officials are sitting over here, and then the one goes by himself. <laughs> I think he heard from the others. I think the other two are going, what are you, you don't doing? Make that call. That's right. <laughs> it's just a bad call. That's all there is to it. But That's all right. You'll have that from hey, time to time. We got four more minutes of good basketball, right? Yeah. No one wanted I, to go home. I couldn't understand. And then even after the whistle, he went up. You know, sometimes you blow the whistle as the buzzer sounds and the other officials say, hey, the game was over. But he was determined to make that call, and he did. Yep. <laughs> and then the other officials were left to, well, figure out how much time we put on the clock here. <laughs> I don't know if they uh, all rode together tonight or not, but <laughs> he may need an Uber home. <laughs> 38-38. That was it's, it's the game. Not not from us, just from no, you know his no, his it's buddies. Just, it's but just the game. that's right. I wouldn't want their job. No, no, it's not a it's it's not a fun job. That's for sure. All right, let's go. Four minutes. 38-38. We're all tied up. Here, Boonville has the opening or the tip in the uh, first timeout session. Agner. Connor Clay Connor spin move short batted out oh actually it's batted out but Joe Horrell is punched <laughs> as it's batted out that's three steps but he got it he got the shot that's got to be it ah, coach Miller you didn't miss that call coach Miller's asking for it let's go boys throw it across well what's frustrating is yeah you know, all of a sudden you start calling it and then you stop now 40 to 38 311 left. There's Horrell for three. No. Rebound Zach Mann. There's a foul. Zach Mann will shoot two. It's been a ball game tonight, Kyle, that's for sure. Yeah, it's been a been a good ball game. Ninth team foul. What a bonus for Zach Mann. <laughs> what a game here tonight. It was 12 to 9 fans at the end of the first half. And not because people were holding the ball. No. No, it was 12 to 9. Zach Mann's first free throw is no good. He gets one more. 306 left to go. <laughs> I did read Coach Miller's lips on that after that foul, though. He said, You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Second free throw is good. Man is one for two at the line. 40 to 39. 306 left to play in overtime. Boonville by one. Agner tries to get Connor cutting, but it's taken away by the hatches. Good defense. Good job by Washington. Here's Zach Mann. Off to Tyler Boyd, over now to 90. Horrell gets it. Nice. Joe Horrell, good jumper on the wing. Two more for Joa. He's got six, 10, 14 points for Horrell. Come on, Hatchets. 41-40, Hatchets lead by one. Fuller goes to Agner, now goes to Sharp. Connor tries for the three and got it. Wow. His first three of the night. Clay Connor adds another $10 to Dr. Omer and his contribution to the Lady Hatchet Community Project. There's Bryson Knighty, and he'll answer it on the other end as Knighty connects for three. He had his legs in that one. 44-43, Hatchet's back by one. Agner in the far corner. Minute 42 left, Boonville with the ball, trailing by one point. Clay Connor at the volleyball line. Connor, there's that spin move. You, oh, he called travel that time. I thought it was a foul. <laughs> I'm just going in, you know, but we fouled him. 
but Kyle we'll was, take it. Kyle was pounding the table over there. I was because it, we weren't in position well, like we should have been. Same official maybe gave us one back after calling that foul. But you know what? You called it, uh, Kyle. Clay Connor does that move to the right every time, Bethany, that spin yep. move. That's exactly what it was. Uh -huh. Knighty shoots three more. Missed it. Oh, over the back on Horrell. Mm. And that's two free throws on the other side. Can't foul now. Double bonus. Don't want to give him points with the clock not running, Kyle. Mm. It's going to be Fuller shooting two. It's up and in. Fuller has one more. It's up and in. Both of them good. 45-44. Ball stripped by Thurston. Connor gets it and puts it up. No good. Thurston gets the rebound. We got under a minute left to go. Joe Horrell is fouled. That's going to be two free throws for Joa. We're in the double bonus now. I think both coaches are saying, why are you guys fouling? <laughs> it's automatically two free throws. <laughs> Horrell's first one is short. He's got one more. I don't think either team is intending to, but all of a sudden these guys are calling fouls. I mean, there's 20... Well, it's got to be 22 fouls called in the second half now. Second free throw for Joe is good. He ties it at 45. And a timeout is called. 52.8 seconds left from the first overtime here at the Hatchet House. Washington 45. Boonville 45. <laughs> I don't know if Boonville can hold it for one. They haven't shown tonight to really hold the basketball at any point. They've got 11 turnovers to Washington's 10. You mentioned both teams are in the double bonus. Scores tied at 45. I would have never thought we would get to that after the first quarter. <laughs> an interesting game tonight. I, I'm, I'm at a lack of words, Kyle. I really am. Boonville has to take it the length of the floor. They're going to get some pressure by the Hatchets. First time we've seen this by the Hatchets, but probably not real heavy pressure, just Don't making them foul. work a little bit. Do not foul. I'm sure Coach Miller told him that. 45 seconds. Sharp gets it across. Hands off to Agner. Now it goes to Clay Connor. Connor into Agner. Agner missed. And the foul called mm. against Boonville. It's Dodged gonna, a bullet. It's going to put Washington at the line. It's going to be Thurston going to the line. Two free throws for Dalton Thurston. Double bonus. He's one out of one for the night. We've got 35 seconds to go. Big free throws here for Dalton. No doubt about it. Thurston's first free throw, it's up and in. Dalton will shoot one more, 46-45, Hatchets by one. Second free throw's coming up. It's up, and it's good. Big free throws. Nice job, Dalton. 47-45, two-point Hatchet lead, 35 seconds left. Token pressure again by Washington, don't. Foul. <laughs> Do not foul. Clay Connor, you know, is going to take it, Kyle. You know he wants to. Agner almost lost it. Sharp shoots the three. Oh, Dominic. you got to be kidding me. Oh, my. Dominic Sharp hits the three pointer. 
10 seconds left, 48-47. Boonville by one. And a foul called against the Pioneers. Two free throws coming for Joe Horrell. <laughs> Sharp is now one for five. <laughs> and if there was anybody that was going to shoot it, I would let him shoot it. And that is his only points tonight, Kyle. Wow. <laughs> That's his only points tonight. Agner is filed out of the game with five personal fouls. And that's big. He's had a nice night for them. Nine points. Mason Gladish is going to check in for Agner now. And again, that could have been a bang-bang call, 50-50 call. Could have been a charge. Could have been a block. Washington gets the call. Joa Horrell has two free throws, and Coach Brooks takes a timeout. 48 to 47. Boonville has a one point lead. If five seconds left in overtime, period number one. <laughs> what a crazy game tonight. What a game. This is your gut check, Kyle. You talked about it, you know, preparing for tournament here with uh, draw coming up on Sunday. These are the games where you got to gut them out and get the win. And it would be a big win. I mean, let's be honest. Boonville's not a bad ball club at all. What, no. what was their record? Did you have Seven it? and 11. Okay. But they're, they're a better ball club than their record. And, you know, they play a lot of the uh, bigger schools down at Evansville. They play most of those schools, a lot of tough competition. So, yeah, uh, they're a nice ball club. Regardless. They've played us well tonight. Joe Horrell is going to shoot two free throws. Nick Sandulo is going to check into the lineup for Washington now. It's been a while since we've seen Dulo in the game. Double bonus for both teams, so I'll say it again. If, not if, but when Joe hits both free throws, please do not foul. Please do not foul. And after that foul at the end of regulation, please don't even make it close. <laughs> <laughs> Our good friend Mark Meyer sent the video footage from the uh, radio TV class. <laughs> it was a tough call, Kyle. It was a tough call. Horrell hits the first one. That a boy. Joa with one more. We're tied at 48 now. 5.4 seconds left on the clock. Second free throw coming from Joe Horrell. It's up and short. And what's your call? Oh, he called a lane violation. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're going to get another free throw. <laughs> Mark Myers, will you watch the video on that, please? We're going to get another free throw. Time went off the clock, I think. Should be about five seconds on there. It was four. It's a lane violation. Me, uh, and also, no Washington players were on the lane. It was only Boonville, so it yeah. wasn't like they were really trying to block <laughs> people out. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Joa. Joa gets a second chance. He missed that. And he got that one. <laughs> he got that one. 49-48. Mm. <laughs> Full court press by the hatchets. Four seconds left. Clay Connor, no, and that's the ball game. Wow, wow, wow. That's the wow. ball game. 49-48, Washington. <laughs> I think both coaches just can't Wins. believe the calls at the end, but oh what a my. game. Woo, doggies. 49-48, Washington, victorious. <laughs> Kyle? Well. <laughs> Our good friend Pounder up there. Pounder calls the uh, game on the radio for uh, Boonville. Uh, Ryan Wagler, for those of you Washington Histoni Estonians, but I tell you, we, we couldn't believe the call to regulation, and he couldn't believe it in overtime, so we should be all happy, right? 49-48 uh, is your final. 
Washington I tell gets you. the win. And let's let's be uh, class act there by uh, Coach Brooks. You know he's not happy with the call, but he didn't. You know, yeah, make a scene. You know he's just part of it. But uh, man, that's tough. Whew. We'll be back with a post game report after this timeout on WAMW. 